quality day. You are to complete the following center with the most appropriate word. Kofi DK les amis said du gâteau. C'est-à-dire les amis est. The correct answer will be what? Well. C'est difficile, bon, important, facile. We saw this last week or so. Sir, your screen is not week. showing. Oh, sure. Yes, sir. It's the, the, um, the audio and the video yeah. uh, that uh, we are seeing. You see audio? Yes, uh, we see the Zoom uh, folder that has been opened. Ah, uh, c'est dommage. Okay, let me stop sharing and reshare. Wait, can you see now? Yes, sir. Yes, we can see. Yes, bon. So, on the coffee DK, les amis, c'est du gâteau. C'est-à-dire, les amis est difficile, bon, important, facile. La bonne réponse est quoi? C'est facile. Facile. So, les amis, c'est du gâteau. Les amis. Les amis, c'est du gâteau. C'est facile, ce n'est pas difficile. La question suivante. Oh, why did I? The system captured all the discussion I had with them. I wanted you to tell me, but okay, let's be fast. Are you are ready when you visit there, you see the possible answer, so I don't have to bother myself. Yes, if you sir. have any specific lesson, then you move on. So here, a reported speech. I hope you did this last week. Elles ont dit, nous allons en vie. Elles ont dit, nous allons en vie. They said, we are going to town. We are going to town. That's a direct speech. So you have to write, hold, answer. They said that they were going to town. That is what I think you should write. They said that they were going to town. They said they were going to town. They said we are going to town. Because of they, here should change to L. They, the same for the agreement. So they said they were going to town. No, they said they are going to town. We did that. Present, present, past, past, balancing of equation. Bon. C'est compris? If you have any issue, let me know. S'il va à l'étranger, elle verra ma mère. If he goes overseas, he will see my mother. That's what we saw even last semester. And then you are to change it to the improbable condition type two in French. So you write, s'il va à l'étranger, elle verra ma mère. S'il va à l'étranger, il verra ma mère de Saint-Étienne. If he goes abroad, he will see my mother. So the correct form will be heard. If he went abroad, he would see my mother. So imperfect, l'imparfait, et le conditionnel présent. And I've been saying this again and again. This semester's work. If you don't go through the tenses, you don't master them, it will be difficult for you to operate in French. That is why we call it operational French. If you want to operate in French, do well to know all the operators, know all the operators that you need to use. You need to know all of them. Then you need to know the tenses, the major tenses. Once you know them, then you can hold. Uh, express yourself and you can form sentences and operate accordingly. S'il allait, 
s'il allait à l'étranger, il verrait don, 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 ma mère. So you just have to repeat, elle verrait ma mère here, you write, elle verrait ma mère. Okay. S'il allait à l'étranger, il verrait ma mère. If he went, if he went overseas, he would see my mother. That's what you should write. Second, this time you should master all this. Okay. I'm planning to see if I can even give you about 10 exercises on each of uh, these topics or aspects that you have treated so that we see how you can master them for me. We'll do that. I'll send the link to you and then you answer and we see. Bon. On continue. La question 4. Ok, let's continue. So, la question 4. La question 4. L'une des femmes est venue. One of the women, one of the women has come or came. There we say, aucune des femmes n'est venue. That's the answer. Aucune des femmes n'est venue. I hope you check the platform. You can see all the possible answers. Is that not it? Yes, sir. So do we need to still go through all the responses? Do, I, do we all together? Or you are okay? If you are okay, then you move on. But if, if not, we continue. So you have to use the negative expression. Here we are talking about negative expression. You need to know them. We did this, I think, first semester or second semester the negative expressions. So please go through all the expressions, the negative expressions, like as I gave some examples here, ne aucune, ne person, ne rien, ne pas, you can't come and use ne pas here, it don't work. Ne pas, not, ne aucune, none, ne person, no one, nobody, and then ne rien, no, nothing, nothing. So if you, and the question, expression say, one of the women, okay, one of the women or the ladies came or has come. So the negative one, the one that would be appropriate, none, none of them, none of the ladies yes. or the women has come or came. And it should go with the feminine form of it. Bien. Thank Christian. Tessa. Wait. Uh, see, sir, please. Um, aucune de femme n'est venue. Uh, I think ne shouldn't come again there. Again, aucune de femme n'est venue. Yes, ne. I think ne ne shouldn't be there. Which ne? La negation. Like this, this one shouldn't be there. Ne shouldn't be there. This one. Yes. So that it ça doit être, Monsieur, ça doit être, aucune des femmes est venue. Sempa n'est venue. No, 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 no. Ça serait la tautologie. Ce n'est pas ça. It's like, it's like none of the, none of the women, uh, none of the women came. Yes, none of the women came. And yes, the expression, exactly. listen, listen, you are taking it literally. The expression, <laughs> you can't just use a queen and then you ignore it. It's no a queen. Have you seen the expression no queen before? Yes. Uh -huh. So when do you use no queen? Yes, a queen is déjà la negation. It is already a negative sentence. So the ne an apostrophe uh, with est according to French, when it comes, it becomes tautology. According to who? French. Which French? Since since the the sentence starts with au queen, which is already the uh, la negation in français.
Pa what about Rien? <laughs> when it comes to Rien, Rien is venu. Huh? But when they use a queen. No, my friend, what I advise you is go and learn that. This is we did this first semester or second semester. The expression oh, is that sad. we have some instances, for instance, if you are you talking about rain, you can you can, for instance, you just somebody will tell you, uh Eskri Yakeke shows than taposh, you can say rien. No, yes, rien than my posh. You can equally say rien. Rien. Just say nothing, but you have not completed the sentence. In okay. the same way, if somebody asks you, est-ce qu'il y a quelqu'un dans la classe? Est-ce qu'il y a quelqu'un dans la classe? You can simply say person. Person, you are correct. But you have not right. written the full sentence. If you want to write the full sentence, and then you have to say, no, in your person. It's just like the nya. So are you saying that if once, instead of bringing, because the is negative, person is yes. already negative. And then Very I will good. say that, El Nya, like this. Oh, yes. What is it? <laughs> El Nya. El Nya person. I will say that this, in, this uh, ne or na should be taken away so that will be elia person. Yeah, you know on the in, for that one, it's like ilnia person, like the n apostrophe should come. What I will tell you is that go and find out. They, in fact, let me I tell you this, this negative expression, I've even written a book on it. Before okay, coming sir. to teach at the university, when right, I was sir. teaching at Presbyterian Boys Secondary School, uh, right, I sir. know it by the grace of God. I'm not doing trial and error. So go and read on it, and maybe we we'll continue the discussion next week. Okay. Well noted, sir. Thank you very much. Okay, let's okay. continue. Bon. Uh, la question cinq. La question cinq. Here you have to translate the following sentence into French. My friend was working when I went out. My friend was working when I went out. Mon ami travaillait quand je suis sorti. So if the person talking is a lady, then sorti is correct. But if you are a man, then you take away the A. You take away the A. Mon ami travaillait quand je suis sorti. Mon ami travaillait quand je suis sorti. My friend was working when I went out. When I went out. C'est compris? So any of them is correct. If you add E2, it's correct. It presupposes that the person talking is a man, it's a lady. And the tenses, the two tenses you have used here, can somebody tell us the two tenses that you have used here? Travaille, what tense is this? And then you see sorti, or bien see sorti. What tense is it? Wait. What tense is? Travailler and suis sorti. Oui. What tense is travailler, mon ami travailler, quand je suis sorti? Christian, can you help us? That's a salem parfait. Et je suis sorti. Pardon? 
Passé simple. Non, ce n'est pas passé simple. Ça, c'est passé composé. Passé. OK. C'est passé composé. So, the, we have l'imparfait et passé composé. We have done l'imparfait et passé composé. You have to know the, these two uh, tenses or the structures in this context. L'imparfait et passé composé. Très bien. On continue. La question 6. Here we have to translate into French. Translate this into, you will go far. You will go far. You can say, tu iras loin ou bien vous irez loin. Any of them is correct. Tu iras mm -hmm. loin. But don't go and write slide, vous irez loin. If it's online exams and you write, tu iras loin, ou bien vous irez loin, you get it wrong. You choose one. Tu iras loin, ou bien vous irez loin. Par exemple, si vous adressez quelqu'un comme madame ou monsieur, vous pouvez dire madame, vous irez loin. Monsieur, vous irez loin. Mais Kofi, tu iras loin. John, mm -hmm. tu iras loin. Ama, tu iras loin. That order. Bien. Yeah. La question 7. Okay. Here you have to report. Has somebody raised their hand? Christian. Sorry, sir. Maybe the first one. Okay. Arnold. Abodo. Arnold, have you raised your hand? Okay. Elle dit, je viendrai. Elle dit, je viendrai. The introductory part is in the present tense. She says, I should come. So the sentence will be all, elle dit qu'elle viendrait. Qu'elle viendrait. What tense is this? What structure is it? How will you translate that into English? Elle dit qu'elle viendrait. And what tense is je viendrai? This time you should be able to identify all the tenses so that you can operate accordingly. Wait, je viendrai. Elle dit je viendrai. And the correct answer should be Elle dit qu'elle viendrai. Cela veut dire quoi? The tense is so je viendrai. What tense is it? C'est l'imparfait. Non, ce n'est pas l'imparfait. Je viendrai. Ce n'est pas l'imparfait. Je viendrai dans la maison. OK. This is not imperfect tense. Ça, c'est le conditionnel présent. Le conditionnel présent. Quelle viendrait? The, the imperfect, don't be confused of l'imparfait, the endings of l'imparfait and the conditionnel présent. The endings of the imparfait and conditionnel présent are the same. But the difference is, when it comes to conditionnel présent, you use the future stem, future stem, to form the conditionnel présent. So go to the slides on conditionnel présent, conditionnel passé, and then you know the difference between l'imparfait et le conditionnel présent, ou bien le futur simple. Le futur simple and then le conditionnel présent, c'est la même chose. Um, uh, the, the, the future, once you know the future tense, the 
that is what you use. The future stem is what you use to form the conditional present, conditional structure. Do you see? So I should come is conditional tense. I should. She says, I should come. And then when you are to report, she says that she would come. She would come. It's still conditional. But this time, because of L, the ending should be A E T. A E T. Come, sir. Second, brief. Okay, I'll continue. If you have any question, you ask. So I'm happy when you ask questions. You, or if you have any baffling issue, let me know. Don't hesitate to let me know. You ask questions, but if you are wrong, then I will. Don't don't be sorry that I will tell you you are wrong. Then, oh, this answer is there. So here, as usual, you have to complete the following sentence to make it meaningful. And V, on va plus vite à pied qu'en voiture. S'il y a l'embouteillage, l'embouteillage. Like in town, one may it is to go, okay, on foot than to go uh, by a car or a vehicle. You see that when we have um, uh, um, but, um, but, uh, like uh, there's traffic jam, it's advisable, it's, it's, it, it appears faster to go on foot. Yes, Abodo. Uh, sir, please, um, there's a problem with my question, my answers. When I submitted them, it's not a French keyboard, it's an English keyboard, so the accent I've been omitted for some of my answers. Most of my answers are wrong, but I was giving wrong, wrong, wrong. I correct, but I was giving wrong. Yeah. You see, most of your answers are hard. Are correct, but due to the French key, uh, English keyboard, so I'm not able to bring some of the accent. But you you could see that they are correct, but just because the accent were being taken different to different places, so most of my answers were given wrong. Oh, are you sure? I I took that into consideration. So that no, most of my you, you didn't get the accent there, you still get the score. So no, mine almost wow. everything is given wrong. But why did you, you can go and copy and paste the way I use it? For instance, uh, well, how did I get some of the accents or here? If you check the questions, I see them, you can see the accent there. And in actual fact, in French, you write of accents. Without the accent, it's not French. For instance. If I have, it can have a different meaning. Like if I write just ah. So, so for mine, this for ah mine. can mean what has. Do you see that he has? Or it can even be is, depending on the context. And if I put the asan graph on it, then it becomes at, in, or even on. So uh, writing of accents. It's very, very important, actually. You can't count our sent out in French language. So you can For copy my... and paste. Last time I said it, you can copy and paste. If you can't get it on your keyboard, you can copy and paste, copy and paste, and that will work. So for my, when I typed it, instead of the accent to be in between the, the alphabet, some went on top of the alphabet. So most of the answers were given wrong, wrong. You, you, I was... What's it? Okay. So here, il dit, je viens. Here, one that this thing is in the present, we don't change it as usual. Il dit, qu'il vient. He said that he's coming. I hope you did all that, so I don't need to bother you again. Last week, we did all two weeks ago. Was it last week or two weeks ago that we did a protest speech? Was it last week? I hope it was last week. Anything I'm making myself. Yes, mm -hmm. last, that we did a protest speech. And then this one, I think there was a, a, an issue here. This shouldn't be this. There is no ah, there is no ah here. But that shouldn't be a problem for you. Uh -huh. I think the sister, I don't know whether I didn't observe it when I, I said the question. There shouldn't be ah, there shouldn't be a here. Do you understand? Uh -huh. There shouldn't be a here. Yes, it's true. Good. 
Don't, but that will not change anything. The correct answer should be all. Ella D, kill Vene. Kill Vene because it should change to A. We don't need the J again. Yeah. So here is in the past, he said, I am coming. Because he said, he said, I'm coming. We need to change it to past uh, imperfect tense here. So that it become, he said that. He was coming, or he said he was coming. No, he said he is coming. No, take note of that. It's very, very important. Can somebody have any issue? Does somebody have any issue on what I've said? Like whether it's in English or French, he says he is coming. He said that he was coming. These are some of the things I want you people to challenge me, and or not to challenge me, to ask questions. Uh -huh. Me, I like students who ask questions. So I like Christian, the way he was asking the question, he was so sure of it, but I also advise that you should go and read all the negative expressions, and if possible, look for le bon usage. Once you are interested in grammar, French grammar, just as you know, in Ghana or even the Anglophone, from Anglophone setting or the university we have, the university grammar. Have you come across the university grammar in English before? The university grammar. Has somebody come across it before? The university grammar. University grammar. Hello? Oh, no, no one sir. is responding. No, sir. So if you are learning a language or any language in Ghana, like English language, we need to have university grammar. That is where we know the correct usage of structures or English. So we call it a university grammar. So in French, too, we have a, a university, like a university French. University French, not French, Quanchin uh, French. You see the point? And that is le bon usage. The, the name is le bon usage. So I'll be very glad if Christian can consult this work, le bon usage. Uh -huh. Maybe look for le bon usage. I don't know whether uh, University of Ghana's, University of Ghana library, I don't know, you are lucky to get it at the library. Uh -huh. You, if you get access or you check online, I'm not sure if it's available online. Le bon usage, the gravis, the gravis. I think the gravis. Le bon usage, the gravis. I think gravis, c'est comme ça. Oh, I think one, two, SN. The gravis. Then you know what I'm telling you, whether it's wrong or not. Mm -hmm. then you can actually be sure of it. So you can, there is a way of finding out a lot of things. Don't accept what I'm telling you wholeheartedly. No, all of you, it should be an assignment. Go and let's check whether it's correct to say, O Queen de Femme ne venu. Whether it's correct to say, O Queen de Femme ne venu, or O Queen de Femme est venu. The queen the farm avenue. Which one is correct? Check find out. You get it. Even if you can get French grammarians outside the country, that can also help. That like the French grammarian, you go to Togo, Cote d'Ivoire, you have somebody there. You can that's learning. I'll be happy. If you check and the person can prove to me that oh, you don't say that, then I'm also learning. That's fine. I don't, I will not be offended that. I, I, I said the wrong thing, but I, for now I'm so sure. I taught it even at senior high school and I've written a book, but you can actually, actually go and check and confirm as well whether it is wrong or not. That is my point. Yeah. All right, sir. Okay, so let's continue. La question 11. Okay. You have to change the sentence to the impossible condition type three in French. 
s'il y allait à la nord, je lui donnerais un cadeau. I decided to ride in caps here yeah, to avoid the accent. OK, to avoid the accent. But don't forget, si il était allé à la nord, je lui aurait donné un cadeau. Je lui aurait donné un cadeau. So you continue. Je lui aurait donné un cadeau. And the sentence is, what does it mean? The first structure, the second, this is the second type, type two. Impos improbable condition. You have to change it to impossible condition. What does it mean? Si il allait à la nose, il lui donnerait un cadeau. Can somebody translate that for us to English? Si il allait à la nose, il lui donnerait un cadeau. Si il allait à la nose, il lui donnerait un cadeau. S'il allait à la noce, il lui donnerait un cadeau. Ah, but this time, you should know what this means. Okay, let's go. If you don't know. But we have, we have done this. We did this last semester also. You should know this by now. So that we know we stand. It's a, it's a form of revision that we are doing. You see, we are doing revision. So we should know this thing. You see. If I went to the wedding, I should give him or her a gift. If I went to the wedding, I should give him or her a gift. This is type two, the improbable condition. And the impossible condition would be, well, if I had gone to the wedding, if I had gone to the wedding, I should have given him or her a gift. If I had gone to the wedding, I should have given him or her a gift. I should have given him a gift or I should have given her a gift. C'est ça. Deuce. La question deuce. Here we have to translate the following sentence into French. The first machine is on the table. Yes. Somebody should tell us. What will it be? The first machine is on the table. The first machine is on the table. Who got it right? Oh, everybody Sir. write write it at the chat column. Let me see. Those who got it right, write the answer there. Let's see. What is the first machine is what? The key word is first machine, and then the rest you should be able to write. Fast machine in French, c'est quoi? C'est le télécopier. Encore télécopier. OK, télécopier. So you need to put the accent on it. So c'est comme ça, n'est-ce pas? Oui, monsieur. Oui. So you have, it's masculine or feminine? C'est masculin. Masculin. Donc, le télécopier. And then complete it. Hein? Est sur la table. Est sur la table. The first machine is on the table. Go to the slides or the video, the, the uh, uh, class discussion on l'informatique. We did this. Second semester also, l'informatic expressions on IT. You see all that there. Take notes, bien. Oh. oh, this one, I wanted you to tell me an answer is it? I hope you didn't see the answer. The girl has neither, uh -huh. okay, there's another issue. The girl has neither mother nor father. Yes. What would be the correct answer? The girl has neither mother nor father. How will it be? 
Labon responds, I just want to try your hand so that I want you to get the negative expressions very well so that some of this confusion will not crop up. Everybody write it there, let me see. The, this girl has neither mother nor father. Sir. Wait. Sexy nani nani mer ni pe. Sex fi. Come sir. Yes sir. We. Na an apostrophe ya. Ni ni mer. Ni mer ni pe. Ni pe. Wait, très bien. But you gave me zero, sir. This one, I got it wrong. You wrote this, I got it wrong. Yes, sir. Yeah, just that I was saying, I didn't give Tell you. Me I didn't give you that. I, I think there will be you. an issue of the punctuation. It will be an issue of punctuation. It, just as I said, for instance, if I put full stop here, and you don't put full stop in the system as your correct answer, you will get it wrong. Or I didn't put full stop in my, uh, with the answer, the answer I gave or I provided online, and you put it there, you will get it wrong. That is what I have observed. So you shouldn't worry. Once you got it right, everything okay. will rectify. I will check and see how to change certain things. It's a punctuation. <laughs> I've seen that some of you, you got them, but because of the punctuation marks, you got them wrong. because. For instance, if you look at this sentence, you should end up full stop. And if you write, for instance, I provided a full stop, and you write without a full stop, it will be wrong. So I think uh, going forward, I have to provide two answers. Where would the punctuation, where the punctuation mass will be placed, and then without the punctuation mass, so that some of this thing will not keep occurring. Okay. All right, sir. Yeah. Okay, Katos. Oh, this one too. I wanted to. I mean, I hope you didn't see it. Or you did somebody see the response? No. Okay, let's be fast. Call a spirit, translate this into, uh, into French. And spirit the expression into French. Call a spirit a spirit. Call a spirit a spirit. This is an idiomatic expression. Again? Appelé un chant, un chant. Encore? Appelé un chant, un chant. Okay, somebody should help him. You have tried, but the way you pronounce the first way, I don't get it well. I'm not getting it. I don't know. Appelé un chant, un chant. Encore? Appelé. No. Appelé. 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 Un chat. Un chat. Appelé. Comme ça. No. Appelé. Un chat. Un chat. Ou bien, vous pouvez dire appel. Appel. Un chat. Un chat. Hey, we read the I read the appeal and shine and shine. I was mad wrong. You wrote your the appeal and shine and shine. Look at the spelling very well. Whether probably you might have written one L. Here should be one yeah. L. Here is two. If you add even S here, it's wrong. This I should be. If it's you are referring to like the V. It's imperative form. Call is speed. If you write R here, you are wrong. So look at the expression very well. If you really, that is what you write. You can go there and if possible, copy it and share with me to see. Or check whether you didn't omit something. Just as I said, if you didn't omit anything and you were able to write it correctly, then that can equally also be the punctuation issue. That can be the punctuation mass as well.
OK, OK, on continue. 15. Oh, OK. This one too, uh, you might have seen it. He said that he was tired, like reporter speech. So here, yeah, he said that he was tired. How will you translate it into French? He said that he was tired, or he said he was tired. Il, 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 il a Elle a dit, elle a Il dit. Elle a dit quoi? Oui, il faut continuer. <laughs> okay, everybody write it, write it. Let me see how you get it there. Somebody should go to, go to the child color. Everybody write it there. Write it there. Write it there. And let everybody see your response. Okay, somebody has written it. Lydia, elle a dit qu'elle était fatiguée. Très bien, très bien, très bien. I think uh, Lydia, let me share what. But you can all see. Did it, is it to everybody or? Okay. It's not to everybody. She shared to everybody. Okay. Lydia. <coughs> Elle a dit qu'il était fatigué. Qu'il était fatigué. Elle a dit qu'il était fatigué. So here, past tense, as you know, if the introductory part is in the past, then the present tense should be past. But here we have even written it. He was tired. This is a reported speech. So just translation. <laughs> the translation. We did the reporter speech. So here you are to translate it verbatim. He said that he was tired. Said two. C'est correct. C'est correct. Très bien. La question suivante, ça sera la dernière question, n'est-ce pas? Oui. La dernière question, c'est. Oh, I think we have even done it. N'est-ce pas? Kofi dit que les amers c'est du gâteau. C'est-à-dire les amers est. We have done it already. N'est-ce pas? Les amers c'est facile. Les amers est. Facile, ce n'est pas difficile, c'est très très facile. Bien, avez-vous des questions? Si vous avez des questions sur ça, il faut poser avant de continuer. Si vous avez des questions, il faut poser. Oui, Christian. <coughs> 